what up Raffle leaders welcome back to my channel here we are back at this intersection where they've built or they are building this traffic circle right that new traffic circle I mentioned in the previous video we're back here because I can't resist my curiosity to find out exactly where this road leads so it's useful to know where you connect on the east bank to this section of the east bank by a pass road if you take this street so I'm gonna go along this new road that's built and it's kind of busy it seems as if a lot of people are using this road a lot of uh, traffic vehicular traffic and what I discovered from the last video right here we are where they're building that park in the middle of a traffic circle I discovered this area is actually closer to Peter's Hall so I want to confirm that somebody suggested that I should use a drone I used to have a drone in fact I still have it um, but I found that it didn't add much value to the content that I created in other words I didn't get more viewers on this channel just because I use drone footage and for that reason I kind of abandoned the whole drone idea but this is what is happening here it's kind of interesting this is another circle it's a bit confusing so this traffic circle big traffic circle over there where they're building that um, park those are the workmen park in the middle of the traffic circle and then there's another traffic circle over here which kind of asks the question why anyway let's go along here and figure out where this road goes where this road leads so yeah somebody suggested that I should use drone footage but I found that in my previous videos where I actually used drones didn't increase the number of views and since drones are expensive you actually end up losing a few of them in the process of imaging of uh, taking video you know I think they're better now because last drone I bought was five years ago and the wind would take it and carry it away outside of the range of the transmitter and that's how I lost a couple of drones so the cost of using a drone didn't justify uh, the investment that is in footage because it didn't increase the views but I will in fact introduce some drone footage again see if fact if people appreciate it more this time but here is what is happening they've built this road like I said a few months ago it was just a dusty um, unpaved road you would see cars kicking up dust now of course they're speeding along the road but a couple of months ago it was just gravel and sand and these cars would be riding in a cloud of dust but now of course it is paved and uh, what I want to do is to figure out exactly where we are in relation to the East Bank in other words is this does this road run straight into the Demar Harbour Bridge or does it come out in Eccles or Nandy Park Republic Park and so on so that's just what we want to verify but on this side you can see there is new housing development this is a lot of vacant land but new houses it seems as if these are single family homes that are being built by individuals as opposed to housing developers because the government sold a lot of land to developers and they have been building rows and rows of homes all 
identical in size and shape and form and layout but these homes seem to be each one different from the other neighbor and therefore means it's probably being built by the actual home owner and if you look at the roof it seems as if it's being imported the architecture is being imported from North America and the other side here There's some more traditional architecture. This is what homes looked like in Guyana in the 1960s. But now they're made in, of concrete. Somebody decided to go up three floors. That one. And put a huge balcony. On the third floor. But so guys, this is, this is the leading edge of development in Guyana on the east bank of Demerara and we just want to get our orientation. So what has happened is that the east bank bypass road has created a faster route to the east coast for people who are now going to be building and living in this neighborhood. You can see the roads are still being built. quick look inside here the roads are being built still being built this is some road construction machinery and in the neighborhood still a lot of partially constructed homes and some fully constructed The street is unpaved. Going in the back, here is somebody's rendition of a townhome, and that's next door. So there are a lot of there's a lot of home construction going on in this neck of the woods. It's another tall building, and in fact. It seems to be being constructed by people who are building for themselves. In other words, it's not the developers. It's being built by individual homeowners. And of course, people are already living in this neighborhood. Hopefully they still have paved roads, paved streets, because here is the road construction machinery. Well, let's keep going west. So we're at the towards the East Bank Road. So. It's about a mile and a half, I believe, based on the last time I took a walk from the East Bank Bypass Road to the East Bank Road. The distance is about a mile and a half. And these are some interesting neighborhoods that I'm going to have to take the time to explore. In future, that's another street. Again, because there are no street markings, I don't really have a good orientation where I am, but my guess is that this is Eccles, or a road that leads you to Eccles. See a lot of new construction in that street as well. And a lot of trucks. Alright, so seems to be coming up upon one of the 
gated community to developer constructed community so based on the look of the back side of these homes my guess is that a lot of these homes originated with the same developer in other words the same person the same company built all these homes and sold them so this is the neighborhood of new homes we're going to explore the inside of this neighborhood in a future video but what it seems as if they've done here is they've built a number of identical homes and sold them to to buyers individual buyers so this is on the south side and these are all single family homes as well as on the north side single family homes Now, a number of um, housing developments have been constructed in recent times. I showed you some of the oldest gated communities, Rahman Park and Digar Park in uh, previous videos. You can go take a look at those. But these have been constructed within the last five years or so. And on this side, within the last five years. What's different about these is... seem to be smaller homes. And they seem to be more densely stocked. Or stacked. More densely stacked. We'll take a look at the inside of some of these homes and... Well, inside of the neighborhoods uh, to compare them, for example, with some of the older gated communities. But for now, this seems to be what developers are building in Guyana. That is where company acquires attractive land and builds a set of homes that are then sold to residential um, home buyers. My guess is this looks like the back end of Republic Park. Here is where the road construction ends so it seems as if this does not go all the way that is the the new construction right this is where we've come from the east bank bypass road and it seems as this is where the road construction ends it doesn't go all the way to the east bank and my guess is that this Part of the road that has not yet been resurfaced runs through the public park. Ah, there it is, Peters Hall. So that gives us an orientation. This is, the sign says Peters Hall, which means that that road comes out somewhere near the Demerara Harbour Bridge. And also tells us that this is not this end is not Republic Park because Republic Park is actually south of Peters Hall. But this is what's happening here. It seems as if traffic is being diverted from the East Bank Road. Alright, Sands has Peters Hall. So this is what's happening here. We've built a lot of 
a lot of new homes and a large number of new homes are ah, Eccles. So I was correct. This is Eccles. So what we're looking at is Eccles. Those homes. Right. Those colorful homes on the north side are actually in Eccles. So that gives me the orientation that I'm looking for. I'm looking to see when, where in fact the neighborhoods or villages uh, begin and end or correspond on the East Bank Bypass Road. So it seems as if by the time we get to the traffic circle on the East Bank Bypass Road, we've entered the village of Peters Hall. And on this side, these homes are actually being built in Peters Hall. Like I said, this is a gated community built by a number of developers. And that means the end of the... The end of the East Bank Bypass Road where construction is um, currently ongoing. To extend it, that end is in... Providence, beginning of Providence. Now, I don't know who who built these homes. It seems to me a couple of pretty large homes with a Guyana flag, and there seems to be some new construction ongoing. So it seems as if it's a compound of an apartment complex. Let's see what does it say here? The sign says. Shangri-La Gardens. How unoriginal. So somebody built this housing development, this housing complex and called it Shangri-La Gardens. If you go to Asia, there's a chain of 